Yet another cool Instagram find. Check this guy out. Mutt and Junkyard V4. This is version 4 of Mutt and Junkyard, which is uh, the same exact mold that was used to create version 3 from the Drug Elimination Force and version 5 from the Con Exclusive Tiger Force. Very cool figures. That version of Mutt actually came with a different junkyard. Uh, I think he was brown. I have him over here somewhere. Yeah, he's brown. But anyway, I um, I got this on Instagram in an auction. The UPC has been very carefully removed so as not to unseal anything here. The, the figure and accessories are all still completely sealed. He comes with a spring-loaded rocket launcher and a, uh, a rifle and the ever the ever faithful and loyal junkyard so i'll go over the file card on this guy and then i'll talk a little bit about uh what yojo.com says about him so the file card says somebody has to put an end to <clears throat> cobra's criminal activity so it might as well be junkyard and me Mutt and Junkyard have worked together for so long, they no longer need to give each other audible or visible signals. It's almost as if they function as one organism. On undercover operations, Junkyard sniffs out contraband substances and sets up the bad guys so Mutt can take them down with his rocket launcher. If the bad guys decide to put up a fight, they'd better be prepared to get ripped to shreds by a howling savage beast, and then they'll have to contend with the dog. <laughs> so the uh the weapons list like one of the things that battle Corps did they gave these little uh weapons lists here uh u.s army nine millimeter nine uh, nine millimeter automatic pistol uh insulated head set with a built-in communicator 100 foot effective smoke bomb protein enriched energy boosting dog biscuits it's <laughs> okay cool he's carrying treats life vest flak jacket lower leg anti-bite shin and foot pads uh specially reinforced dog handler gloves forearm padding for canine attack training junkyard attack dog xl66 hyper-powered rocket launcher and if you check out the figures listing on the back, they have a little advertisement here for Mega Marines and Star Brigade Armor Tech. And the other figures from the Battle Corps line here. Uh, the card has a little bit of warping, but uh, it's just it's going to hang on the wall until I get some more of those Zola cases for them. Um, it came with a figure stand, the rocket launcher, the gun. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the bright, if you notice the, uh, the figure itself is actually like the, uh, the figure itself is colored differently than the artwork. Uh, it's like they took the artwork directly from the, uh, DEF series, which I'll show you here. And just transposed it over to, uh, the six by 10 battle core card even though the coloring of the figure is different. He has blue pants versus green, an orange vest versus blue. Uh, the, the arms are still green and the hat's still the same color. Uh, and the, uh, the boots are still the same brown color. But, um, you know, I think that with some of the Battle Corps stuff, they got a little bit lazy, especially releasing these figures. Uh, let's go over the information that yojo.com has for these guys. Mutt was intended to be part of the 1993 assortment of DEF drug elimination, a drug elimination force subset. However, Hasbro decided not to release any DEF toys in 1993 and instead repackaged them as battle core toys. So you ended up with DEF figures in the battle core figures originally intended to be DEF. You ended up with them in the battle core. Oh, he has a uh, has a handgun in here as well somewhere. Oh, right there it is. It's in the package with it's in the blister with uh, with junkyard. So let's see here. No variations are known to exist 
The entire mold of Mutt was originally used in 1992 to create Mutt and Junkyard version 3, which was part of the DEF line. Uh, in Australia, Mutt was released on DEF packaging instead of Battlecore packaging. Uh, 2005, Mutt was renamed Sergeant Mutt and was renamed Mutt in 2008. So while there are multiple names, they are all still based on the character Mutt. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much all that it says. Um, no, uh, no other outstanding information. I just think that it's kind of... It, it's weird and it's it's kind of neat at the same time uh, the way that Hasbro did some of the stuff the, you got to take into consideration this is like the uh, the huge push for everything that they could put out with the GI Joe name on it and then the line died in 1994 it just it just stopped discontinued in 1994. Um, you know, as far as this iteration of G.I. Joe, the three and three quarter inch O-ring figure uh, died out in 1994 for a while. But, I mean, they were putting out so much ridiculous stuff. And everybody laughs about these 90s Joes and their bright colors and whatnot. I like some of them. Uh, I like the, the more subdued colors from the figures that came out in the uh, 2000s a little better. But, I mean, these really did fit the era, the color schemes of that era. And let's see, what else do we have back here? I'm curious as to what other figures were actually intended to be. Okay, I know the Headhunter, Stormtrooper, and Bulletproof were both uh, DEF figures. I believe that Gristle was as well. You know, I would say that some of these other guys up here were intended to be DEF as well. Uh, I'm curious, though, exactly which ones which ones had that original intention. But yeah, the uh, the 6x9, or the 6x10, sorry, the 6x10 Battle Core card with the uh, the laziness of just transferring the artwork from the previous year onto the card with the new color of the figure. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's laziness. It's laziness. But, you know, this was also a long time ago. <laughs> 1992. Uh, I think uh, that if we see anything in the future from G.I. Joe, it's probably going to be something we won't recognize. Uh, at least that's kind of my hope. But that's for another video. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for going over this with me and uh, listening to me sit here and talk about it. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.